What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Liverpool Atalanta post-match analysis video and this was probably the worst performance of the season for Liverpool which followed the best performance of the season against Leicester and this was mainly due to Liverpool rotating a lot of players. I mean this Liverpool team probably only played together in a training, never before in a competitive game and it was a very disjointed player, disjointed performance, not just by the players by the way who came in the fringe players this was a overall pretty bad performance by by pretty much everybody even Salah and Mane weren't up to their usual standard but it was understandable because Liverpool have so many injuries and also the scheduling is, is absolutely bonkers that we have to play on a Saturday at lunchtime which is a disgrace by Premier League uh, scheduling the broadcasters are at fault for that you can Klopp already did a rant on that I already made a video about this issue so Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp's hand was pretty much forced we already have seven first team players out and Liverpool can't play the same starting 11 every three days because Liverpool cannot afford to get more injuries let me know what did you think of the game in the comments below and do you think this puts Liverpool's qualification to the knockout stages in danger? I still think Liverpool are in a good position because all things considered Liverpool are still top of this group but only by two points ahead of Atalanta and Ajax who have seven points. Liverpool have nine but Liverpool still have to play Michelin if we win that that's 12 points we probably qualify already but then we play I think we play Ajax uh, at home as well I'm not sure if it if that's the last game of the Champions League group no the Liverpool Ajax game is the next one and that's a good thing because if Liverpool win that then then we qualify to the knockout stages and then we can rest players but I mean already Tsimikas, uh, Reese Williams, Neko Williams and uh, James Milner and Divo Corrigi and maybe Curtis Jones so six players started who are not in Liverpool's like first choice starting 11 and I mean you could argue that Matip and uh, maybe even um, James Milner Mm, are not in uh, Liverpool's first choice starting 11 but Liverpool never got going in the first half Liverpool had just one shot and no one target and when was the last time Liverpool had zero shots on target all game and that's the the only worry for me that we never even got close to clear creating a clear-cut chance I don't remember a Liverpool side which didn't create one clear-cut chance one good chance in the whole game that is very worrying I think but I think it, Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp probably realized that uh, with the scheduling and with the amount of injuries that we have it's just one step too far the Brighton game is much more important on the weekend we have to win that to stay top of the Premier League this game is probably the game where you can afford to lose I don't, I'm not saying Liverpool just gave up this game because the, the Liverpool players worked hard, they put their all in the game but there was just no fluidity, no rhythm in our style of play because of so many like fringe players thrown in to the starting eleven. This Liverpool side is a side that never played together before and there was no rhythm, no cohesion, no really, uh, no game plan, no pattern of play which usually the Liverpool starting 11 everybody knows their role, everybody knows what the other players will do but in this one a lot of players who don't usually play um, played and and yeah it showed uh, uh, and Atalanta full credit to them they played much better than in the last game where Liverpool smashed them 5 near. they also were a little bit cautious at the beginning but when they see that Liverpool weren't up to their usual standards they grew in confidence as the game wore on and in the second half they scored two very good very well worked goal but Liverpool's defending had a, left a lot to be desired because yeah we just left uh, the Atalanta players who scored Ilicic and Gusens just too much time and too much space Reese Williams was at fault 
for the second Atalanta goal and Tsimikas was at fault for the first Atalanta goal. But I mean, Atalanta overall deserved, fully deserved the three points. They were much the better team. I mean, Atalanta had uh, overall nine shots, four on target. And Liverpool had four shots, zero on target. And that's a first, I think, not just this season, but in many seasons in a row. I just don't remember off the top of my head a Liverpool game where we didn't hit the target with our sh shots. And also, I don't remember a game where we had one shot on target. Just to compare, against Leicester, we had 23 shots, 13 on target. And in this one, it was a completely different team and a completely different performance. And uh, by the way, Atalanta, it was a much, much more important game for them. Because had they lost to Liverpool, then they would have been three points behind Ajax and they probably would have had to beat Ajax and Michelin as well to qualify and they would have needed a favor from Liverpool as well and Atalanta didn't want to rely on other teams. Atalanta wanted to win this game and I think Gasparini, the Atalanta manager, made very sensible tactical choices. Atalanta usually play with two strikers, very open football, but in this one he changed his tactical game plan, which really worked like a charm, because they defended so, so well. Even after Liverpool brought on the big players, Andy Robertson, Fabinho, Bobby Firmino and Diogo Jota, Players who are in form, Firmino and Jota are scoring lately and even them players came in, coming on, we just couldn't penetrate the Atalanta defense. They were rock solid at the back. They defended in numbers, they had two banks of four and they restricted Liverpool to virtually no chances, which is pretty much unheard of. And I think Jurgen Klopp have no, will have no complaints with the result. We, he knew that this game was Atalanta's game. It was all about Atalanta. Liverpool just never got going. And James Miller even said after the game that Liverpool just didn't get their rhythm. They didn't uh, really perform. They never got um, close to Atalanta in a striking distance, if you like. We just never created a very good chance in the Atalanta box and that was really disappointing. What I also found disappointing is when we saw that we couldn't get into the Atalanta box, I mean overall we had just seven touches in the box, in the Atalanta box, which is like such a low number because usually Liverpool have a lot more than that. But once we realized that we couldn't get into the Atalanta box, what we should have done is try to shoot from distance, at least try to work the goalkeeper from 20, 25, 30 yards. But even that we, we didn't do. And I think it was a collectively just a bad performance. And as I said previously, if there is a one game this season where Liverpool are allowed to have a bad performance and to, to lose, it's this one. So I'm just get, glad that this game is out of the way. Let's forget about it. Let's uh, go to Brighton and try to win that. I think uh, Liverpool will try to play their strongest team. But remember that we have Trent Alexander-Arnold, Joe Gomez, Virgil van Dijk, Jordan Henderson, Thiago, Oxley chamberlain Naby Keita, all out injured. And sooner or later, hopefully, they will get back uh, fit. Uh, we play Brighton and then we play Ajax again. And then we play Wolves in the Premier League. At least I hope for the Wolves game, maybe some of these injured players will be back. Against Brighton and Ajax, it will be very, very difficult because uh, there will be just, again, like two rest days between those two ga games. So three days separate the Brighton and the Ajax game. And Liverpool probably have to play their strongest possible lineup in both games. And we can't really rotate much. I mean, we don't have a, an out-and-out -out recognized right back. And Neko Williams had did well today, I felt, but uh, he's still a kid, just 19 years old. He lacks the experience, so I don't think we will play him against Brighton. Probably James Milner will play at right back. Um, but overall, Liverpool have a lot of issues because of injuries. And it was bound to happen. We, we were bound to lose uh, some games in this run-in. Let's hope that we lose as few games as possible. And, um, and let's hope that 
we can get the injured players back as soon as possible as well. Otherwise, Liverpool will uh, lose some games in the Premier League as well, and that will be even more costly than today's defeat. That's my match uh, review. I don't really, I can't really shout about too much in this one, but I hope that you understand if you watch the game. Thanks for watching. Hope you hope you enjoyed this. Still, have a nice day. See you later, guys. Goodbye.